Welcome back to the goof. If you're just now tuning in, you're an idiot. While neither Doc nor I have been shot yet, that's only because there hasn't been a gun pointed at our heads until now. I feel like I have nothing to lose. Just give me the gun. This is gun to your head. The Nationals officially got baseball season underway with an awe-inspiring opening day ceremony featuring hurler Steven Strasburg blowing out his arm. His first pitch was a 102-mile-an-hour fastball that split his labrum in half and left his arm hanging limply off the joint like a windless sail. Nothing better than seeing a young superstar rip his body apart to signal the arrival of America's mandatory pastime. You're as dumb as my dog, Kenny, Kenny. Strasburg's nowhere near as good as Dwight Gooden was at destroying his career. Careful, Doc. Loose lips, empty clips. With the NBA season heading into the home stretch, the league's worst teams are battling it out for the right to draft NCAA champion Kentucky with a first pick. Kentucky's a once-in-a-lifetime draft choice. They've got a combined wingspan of 118 feet and a collective basketball IQ of 793. After missing several games with a torn meniscus, Knicks phenom Jeremy Lin took New York's Beth Israel Medical Center by storm when he died in surgery on his very first day in a gown. Lin is the ultimate New York sports hero. Flashy, temporary, just a bit ethnic, ultimately unable to save his team's bad season, and dead. You don't expect an early death like that from a Harvard kid. Speaking of things nobody saw coming, NBA forward Tyrus Thomas inspired dozens of Charlotte area fans yesterday by becoming the first Bobcat to dunk a basketball. What a remarkable story for all those players over there whose names I don't know and I refuse to learn. I think any sportscaster who doesn't know any Bobcats players should be shot. Also, I should note, this group includes me. And yet still more fucking basketball. Tim Duncan credited his 50-point, 23-rebound performance to the huge amount of refined sugar in the three bowls of Captain Crunch he consumed before last night's game. Between free throw attempts, he ran around with his arms out like an airplane, singing nonsense songs, and asking if there was any Captain Crunch left. That stuff's even better than having a gun to your head, right, Doc? You know what? What? Fuck the gun and fuck the network. And you know what else? What? I don't want to yell about sports anymore. This is no way for a man to live. Doc, you're talking like a man with a death wish, and you have my extra set of house keys. So knock it off. I'm sorry, Kenny. I have to think for myself. Was that a guy? Doc? Doc! No!